Now it seems uh, that recording is uh, on, uh, so uh, we can uh, start our discussion uh, about regression analysis and uh, uh, regression analysis in plus uh, will be our main task at the beginning of this lecture. Uh, so this will be the first time uh, we will introduce M plus uh, software. Uh, we will uh, use uh, M plus uh, in demo version. Uh, so currently uh, the available uh, uh, last uh, issued version is uh, 8.5 if I remember well. So I will try to find it uh, and open. Uh, so M plus uh, demo version 8.5, here it is. So here we go. So that's M plus uh, demo editor. So here it is. So this is the appearance of M plus. Uh, if you open M plus uh, for the first time, uh, I guess. Um, I yeah. think you're not sharing the screen. Yeah. Once again, uh, so now it's uh, short. Uh, so this is uh, uh, the M plus uh, editor if you open M plus for the first time. So only blank uh, wide window is expecting uh, that you will enter uh, some commands and then uh, M plus uh, will compute uh, for your results. I guess that uh, at least the first appearance uh, is not very nice uh, from M plus. Uh, so uh, if you compare, uh, for example, environment of M plus uh, with environment of Jasper, so it is uh, a very, very uh, different style. Uh, in Jasper, uh, nice graphics uh, uh, with nice inputs and outputs uh, in M plus. Uh, it is a uh, quite unfriendly uh, environment, uh, which is expecting that you will type your command uh, into this window. And then uh, also output, as you will see in a few minutes, uh, it's not uh, very friendly, uh, but uh, computational capabilities of M plus are uh, very nice. Uh, so that's why uh, we will make this introduction today. And we will be using M plus uh, uh, nearly every time uh, during our lectures. And uh, uh, there is also one special occasion. Uh, it will be a lecture uh, devoted uh, to latent class analysis. And in this lecture devoted to latent class analysis, we will be using only M plus as Jasper is not uh, uh, <coughs> available uh, for this procedure. So M plus, I would call it, uh, would be for our lectures mainly something like uh, uh, software uh, somewhere in the background. So we will be using M plus only uh, as uh, some supplementary package, but for latent class analysis, uh, M plus will be our main platform. So that's first introduction. And I hope that uh, currently uh, we can uh, go to the presentation. So here it is. And uh, first of all, uh, we will briefly introduce M plus uh, package uh, and uh, I will give you some basic information. And then uh, the end of this uh, short exclusive about M plus today uh, will be mainly uh, devoted uh, uh, to first example. And we will show how we could compute regression analysis of relationship between prices and sizes of flats. So it means the same regression uh, we have discussed last time uh, in CHESP. So before we start uh, some basic information about M plus itself. So originally M plus uh, was designed as uh, the software for so-called structural equation models. Uh, we will be discussing later uh, this topic, uh, but uh, we can uh, give a brief insight uh, also today, and structural equation models means that we are usually combining uh, some procedures such as regression analysis and also uh, some procedures uh, that are called factor analysis. So structural equation models are models that are combining regression and uh, factor analysis uh, usually in one model. And it is uh, something like advanced statistical procedures for relationship between variables. Once again, we will be discussing about structural equation models in the second part of uh, this semester. Uh, so we will postpone this discussion, uh, but uh, this uh, 
type of techniques, it means structural equation models, was the original aim of M+. Plus. But uh, as producers of uh, M+, plus, uh, recognized, uh, there were quite a lot of uh, competitive packages. Uh, if I mention some of the most important, uh, so for structural equation models, uh, you can use uh, uh, AMOS, uh, which is currently distributed by IBM uh, together with SPSS. Uh, you can also uh, use uh, the first package for structural equation model that was invented. Uh, uh, it is called LISRO. Uh, and the next uh, very uh, good package is called UQS. So these are three big competitors uh, to M. Plus. And uh, producers of M, uh, the company which is called Stat Model, company which is owned by Professor Mutten and his wife, uh, decided that they should uh, somehow. <coughs> Uh, differentiate from these products and that's why they decided to add more advanced procedures into M+. So that's why M+, uh, implemented procedures such as latent classes, multi-level models and many other procedures uh, but we will not be using these procedures so we will not uh, discuss about uh, this in detail and uh, this uh, I would call it uh, implementation of new stuff uh, into M plus uh, uh, is the reason why M plus currently, at least uh, uh, for those who are interested in advanced statistics uh, uh, and especially uh, for applied researchers uh, in uh, biology, medicine, uh, social sciences, etc., all over the world. Uh, are using mostly uh, M plus uh, for advanced statistical procedures. So currently, this is one of the best products uh, for advanced statistics uh, on the market. Uh, of course, if we are discussing about software which is commercial, uh, if we would uh, discuss about non-commercial packages, uh, uh, the most common uh, would be R uh, with all uh, packages uh, that are available uh, in R. So uh, that's basic information about uh, M plus and uh, its uh, short history. And uh, if you like to have uh, some support, uh, some supportive uh, materials, uh, so you can visit online web page of the company Stat Model. Uh, so http three w's uh, statmodel.com. And here uh, you can find a lot of materials. Uh, there are a lot of texts uh, written by Professor Mutan or its colleagues. Uh, and there are also videos uh, from uh, different uh, seminars uh, 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 that are held all over the world. And there are also a lot of presentations uh, that were uh, used uh, during these seminars. Uh, there is also quite big manual, uh, currently including more than 800 pages, uh, but uh, I would warn you that this manual is not very helping, at least for those who are new to M+, as this material is quite technical and uh, uh, explanations in this manual are not very easy to follow. Uh, there is also a very good uh, platform uh, directly on uh, web page statmodel.com, uh, which is called Statmodel Forum. And uh, this forum uh, is used by individual users of M+. And Professor Mutan and his colleagues are answering questions of individual users. Uh, uh, so uh, that's uh, quite uh, nice. Uh, our responses are quite quick. And also you can find many questions that are answered uh, before you enter a new one. Uh, so I would recommend you if you like uh, to work uh, more with M+, uh, please read this Stat Model Forum. Uh, it is very, very helpful uh, many times. And there are also uh, two bigger M+, user groups. Uh, one is in the uh, United Kingdom and one in Netherlands, as usually uh, universities uh, in the Netherlands uh, are using M+, uh, quite a lot. If you would like uh, to visit some specialized courses on M+, uh, I can recommend uh, only two platforms uh, that are available currently. Uh, one uh, is uh, held directly by company staff model, so it means uh, that Professor Mutan and his colleagues uh, are offering uh, usually uh, 
two or three times a year seminars, uh, mostly uh, in the US. Uh, sometimes they go to Asia and to Europe. Uh, and uh, if you would go to Europe uh, at least uh, once a year, sometimes more often, uh, courses are offered uh, uh, in the Netherlands uh, and uh, precisely usually uh, the university which is mostly uh, related uh, to M plus package is Utrecht University so you can go uh, to courses uh, which are held at Utrecht University uh, they are offering special courses during the year and also uh, many courses uh, during their uh, su summer schools uh, which are very very famous uh, and if I remember well uh, so Utrecht University is offering uh, uh, the most uh, quantitative uh, uh, summer uh, schools uh, all over the world so these are supportive materials and uh, some other uh, options how we can learn more about M plus so uh, if you would like to know something about uh, uh, the structure of M plus package. Uh, so M plus uh, is based on three modules. Uh, one is called base, the second one is called mixture, and the last one is called multi-level. Uh, so these uh, three models uh, are capable of different techniques. So in base, you can find regression, pass analysis, factor analysis, exploratory, also confirmatory, and general structural equation modeling. Uh, for mixture, uh, there is added value of latent classes, log linear models, and related techniques. And for multi-level, uh, it's, it's very easy to guess. Uh, uh, you can find procedures for so-called multi-level modeling. If you like to buy M+, uh, uh, you can buy base only. You can buy um, base plus mixture, base plus multi-level, and you can buy all models. If you download uh, M plus demo, as uh, we are using for this course, uh, so all models are included. Uh, so we will have an option to use base as well as multi-level and mixture. Uh, but uh, we won't be using uh, multi-level features of M plus uh, in this course. Uh, but if you are interested uh, in these features, they are available for you in demo version. Demo version is uh, for free uh, and it is for free uh, for the end of time of your computer, but uh, there is a quite strict limit in M plus demo and uh, the limit of uh, this M plus demo is uh, that you can apply in one model only two independent variables, but all techniques are available. So it means uh, there is no limit on computation. Uh, and of course, uh, if you only download demo, if you don't pay uh, for M plus full version, uh, you can expect no support from stat model. Uh, if you visit uh, uh, for a minute uh, uh, stat model forum uh, uh, for N plus, uh, you would find that sometimes instead of answering the questions of individual users, uh, uh, and plus producers will only write, please send me your files and send the number uh, of your license. So it means some uh, answers and some advices are available only for users who are paying for M plus. Uh, you can find uh, this answer uh, quite often uh, on M plus forum. Uh, so uh, that's the service which is available only for those who pay. Only uh, if you would like to buy M plus, but uh, you don't need it uh, for this course. Uh, uh, so uh, the price uh, for students is according to my opinion, uh, quite nice. I guess that uh, full price currently is approximately uh, 300 uh, of US dollars. Uh, so it is not a very expensive package. Uh, so uh, that's about M plus and M plus demo. And now uh, we will briefly discuss about example uh, and how we can uh, ask M plus uh, for computation. Then I will show you uh, real computation 
in N plus, uh, and then uh, we will once again switch into CHESP uh, up to the end of this lecture, and uh, we will be discussing about uh, uh, regression analysis uh, with more than uh, two uh, uh, <coughs> variables. So it means uh, we will be discussing about multiple regression. So uh, here it is. Uh, before we start, uh, I will show you uh, output example in M plus uh, to see how it works. Uh, so it means uh, what is uh, basic uh, structure uh, of outputs uh, in M plus. So this is a very simple example of output uh, from regression analysis. So you can see that uh, the output is fully text output. Uh, so no nice, uh, formatted uh, table, only texts uh, are included. And uh, the section of its results uh, is usually starting with uh, the expression model results. Uh, as you will see in a few minutes, uh, outputs in S uh, M plus are very, very long uh, text. Uh, and uh, the first, what you would like to see is usually the section which is uh, described as model results. Here you can see uh, classic uh, results for regression analysis. So uh, here you can see individual independent variables here in this example called C1, C2, and C3. And here you can see classical outputs. So it means estimates means that these are individual slopes for individual variables. SE stands for standard error. So these are standard errors for these estimates. Then the next output uh, classically in N plus uh, is uh, uh, ratio between estimate and standard error. As you can see it here, estimate divided by standard error. So it means this is the result of a t-test. And the last column is classical p-value, uh, which is evaluating uh, this uh, uh, partial uh, t-test uh, for regression analysis. So this is, uh, according to my opinion, quite uh, unfriendly output uh, in M+, plus, but this is classical uh, output uh, uh, for uh, regression analysis. So it means interval coefficients, standard errors, uh, uh, t-tests and p-values uh, related uh, to this t-test. So uh, that's a first uh, example of output. And now uh, we will try to understand how we can prepare a so-called input file. It means a file with commands that will tell M plus what to do, how to analyze your data. So, uh, we will go briefly into introduction to M plus language today. Uh, this is only uh, very, uh, very basic introduction and uh, we will add more information in next lectures. So, uh, first of all, if you like to work uh, with M plus, you need some data file. I will show you example of such data file uh, for our case. It means prices, sizes, and other variables uh, for uh, our case. Uh, we were uh, discussing last time. And you need also input file. It means file which is including individual commands that will tell M plus everything about your data, about your variables, and about your requirements for the analysis. And if you prepare data correctly, if you prepare input file correctly, then it is quite probable that you will receive also so-called output file. So for one analysis, it means for one regression analysis, uh, uh, in our case, you need three files, data file, input file, and then you will receive also output file. Uh, M plus will add you also the first file, uh, which is uh, using uh, the extension D, uh, DGM, I guess. Uh, and it is a graphical file uh, that will show your model graphically, but we won't be using uh, these graphical outputs uh, as uh, they are nearly useless uh, in the basic models. Uh, uh, so we won't be discussing uh, these uh, capabilities of M plus. So, 
Uh, before we start the discussion about language uh, of M+, I will show you the structure of these files uh, uh, to have an idea what we are discussing about. So uh, now I will uh, uh, click uh, into uh, <coughs> my uh, file manager. Uh, and uh, first of all, uh, we will briefly uh, show how data uh, looks like uh, for M+. So here is uh, our data file, which is called D1 Limerick Data uh, Extension DAT. And here you can see uh, formatting of data file, uh, which is ideal for M+. So you can see individual columns with individual values. And it means that these individual columns here are representing individual variables. So for us, the first column, uh, as you remember, maybe from the previous lecture, uh, would be price of the flat. Second Y, um, uh, the size of the flat, and then other features, uh, such as whether the flat is new or not, uh, reconstructed, uh, whether there is maybe train station, etc., etc. et cetera. Uh, so these are other features. You can see that between every, uh, uh, column, uh, there is a blank space, uh, which is uh, 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 made uh, by a tabulator. Uh, so uh, these are uh, the same spaces uh, between all variables. As you can see, there is no first row including information about variables. So if you are using M+, forget about data file that is describing your variables in the first row. First row in M plus data formatting is the first case. It means here it is the first flag. And also the last uh, property that should be mentioned here is that uh, uh, for uh, decimal places, there is a dot. Uh, 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 so uh, if you are using another uh, formatting, you must change change it before you start work with M+. Last one uh, comment, uh, but I won't show you uh, these properties in detail, uh, is uh, uh, related uh, to missing values. Uh, if you remember, uh, for example, uh, SPSS handling of missing values, so if there would be instead of zero blank space, SPSS would recognize this blank space usually in SPSS, there is dot uh, or point uh, as a system missing value. So in M+, there are no blank spaces. Blank space would mean there is no information and M+, would treat instead of the, this value, uh, this value. Uh, so for M+, if you are working with some missing values, you must use some special codes, such as, for example, uh, three times nine, uh, three times uh, uh, eight, or something like this. And if you are preparing input file, it means uh, file with uh, commands uh, for M+, you must define these missing values that are present in your data. I guess that in my data, there are no missing values, so we don't need uh, to uh, prepare such a definition. Uh, so here we have uh, the full data matrix, uh, uh, but still uh, I will show you how to make a definition of missing values in M plus environment. So that's how data looks like. So this is the appearance of data file. Uh, next, uh, file is input file only uh, brief uh, inside uh, so here is input file we will uh, uh, discuss in detail the structure uh, of uh, this file in few minutes and uh, if you click into the last file which is available for you which is output file so you can see very very long text uh, excuse me once again so here it is, uh, which is starting with repetition of input. So it means commands and then a lot of pages of individual outputs. Uh, we will be discussing these outputs in a few minutes. Uh, so that's output file for M+. So once again, for one data analysis, you need input file, uh, then data file, and M+, will prepare for you output file and also file with graphics, but we won't be using uh, such a file. So 
that's first introduction. So I will close these files. Uh, we will go back uh, uh, to this discussion uh, in a few minutes. And now uh, some basic introduction into the structure of input file. So in M plus, there are uh, different sections uh, by which uh, you are uh, defining uh, your requirements for data analysis. First one uh, section is called title. Uh, it is not an obligatory section, but I would recommend you to use titles in M plus language. And uh, through title, uh, you can uh, describe briefly for yourself uh, what is your analysis about. So for example, you can type, I am preparing my first regression in M plus, uh, and this title will be also uh, for you present in your output file. So title is not obligatory, uh, but it is strongly recommended uh, to describe your title uh, so you can recognize later what procedures you were performing. Uh, next section is about data. It is uh, obligatory uh, section and uh, this section data is describing what is the name of your data file. So for example, for my case, my data file is called D1 linear rank data. So I would spell uh, to M plus that my data file is uh, D1 linear rank data. Uh, next section is also obligatory as if we go back uh, into uh, data file, once again, I will open it. There is no information about variables. It means number of variables, their names uh, in data file. So you need to define individual columns, for example, to say that the first column is price. The next one is size. The next one is, I guess, uh, whether there is train station or not uh, uh, in the uh, city, uh, whether uh, this is new or uh, old flat, etc., etc. So you need to define all these variables, and not only uh, that you define individual variable names, but you also usually define some properties of variables, such as missing values whether some cases uh, should be omitted uh, from your analysis. You can also uh, define only some group of variables as variables that will be used in your data analysis. So that's a section which is called variable. Uh, the next section uh, is uh, not very common uh, in M plus, that's why it's not obligatory section, uh, but by define, uh, you can make computations in M plus. So this is the same procedure as for example, compute in SPSS. Uh, so you can recompute your variable uh, into uh, other uh, variable, such as you can compute age uh, from year of birth, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, next section, once again, not obligatory section, is called analysis. And by this section, you can specify some special estimation techniques, uh, uh, some special procedures uh, that are available in M+. Uh, we will be briefly discussing about these analytical options uh, and during the lecture devoted uh, to latent class analysis. So once again, uh, we will postpone this discussion uh, to later lectures. Next one uh, section is called model. It's not obligatory section, but if you do not include model section uh, into your input file, uh, you will not get any substantive results for any model and you will only, uh, uh, you will only get uh, descriptive results of your data. But that's not usually what we would like to have. So that's why we usually include model section. And by model section, we will describe our uh, model uh, that should be computed. For example, in our case, we will be uh, uh, trying to get a regression analysis of prices, uh, uh, which are somehow related on their sizes. So our model would be regression prices uh, on sizes. Once again, not obligatory, but uh, quite recommended uh, section is called output. If you do not define output section, it doesn't mean that uh, M plus will not give you any output. Uh, even without this inclusion, 
M plus will give you many pages of outputs that are default, but uh, there are maybe 40 more different outputs that you can add uh, to default. And by this uh, section, which is called output, uh, you can specify these outputs. Uh, next uh, section, once again, not obligatory, is uh, called save data. Uh, we won't be using uh, uh, this uh, uh, section a lot uh, in uh, uh, <coughs> this course, but uh, in some procedures, uh, especially uh, in factor analysis, uh, also in latent class analysis, it can be quite useful uh, to save uh, some uh, new variables uh, which are based on your data analysis. For example, in factor analysis, you can save something that is called factor scores. Uh, uh, for latent class analysis, uh, you can save assignment uh, to these uh, latent classes, et cetera, et cetera. And for these uh, occasions, uh, save data section is prepared for you. Uh, for uh, some procedures, uh, 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 nearly for all procedures that are available in PLUS, uh, you can also ask for some special plots. So it means these are not classical plots such as pie chart, bar chart, etc. Uh, and PLUS is not capable of uh, these uh, simple charts, uh, but specialized uh, statistical plots uh, can be prepared by M plus, and that's why section uh, plot is uh, prepared here. Uh, we won't be using a lot uh, this plot section, um, but once again, for latent class analysis, uh, we will use capabilities uh, of M plus in plotting. And class one section, uh, we won't be discussing a lot, uh, is uh, so-called Monte Carlo section. Uh, and this section serves uh, for special computations of uh, sample sizes. Uh, currently, there is a huge, huge discussion, uh, especially in social sciences, uh, about uh, uh, planning uh, of your research design uh, before you start uh, uh, to prepare uh, your research at all. And uh, one of the best uh, options uh, for uh, designing the sample size is called Monte Carlo simulations. And these Monte Carlo simulations uh, in quite a lot of uh, 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 statistical techniques uh, that can be uh, achieved by M plus uh, is available by this Monte Carlo option. Uh, so we won't be using uh, this option at all, um, but if you like to know more about it, uh, you can visit uh, uh, M plus uh, web pages and you can learn how to work with this Monte Carlo section. Uh, so uh, these are uh, only parts we will be discussing today about title, data, and variable uh, and uh, about model and output. And here is the first simple example of uh, simple regression only to recognize how it works. Uh, and then uh, we will of course compute real uh, life example for our data. It means uh, prices and sizes of the flats. So first section here uh, in this example is called data. Every section starts with uh, big letters, so data, all big letters, and then uh, you must uh, define this section. Uh, so uh, that's the first uh, introduction. So I am discussing data. Uh, you can see that the same is for output and all other results. And then you need to specify your data file. If the data file is saved in the same folder as input file, for example, this is my case, I have input file and data file in the same folder, you do not need to specify where your data file is saved. If your data file would be in another folder, you need also to specify your disk, such as D, uh, then a slash, uh, uh, then a folder, uh, maybe subfolder, etc., etc. So very simple recommendation uh, for M plus data management is try to save input file in the same folder as your data and you do not need to specify uh, uh, the place where your uh, data file is saved. So that's about data. 
Uh, I would add only a short comment about data formatting. Uh, we have discussed about uh, basic uh, data formatting. This is how it works. Once again, individual columns uh, separated by blank spaces. Uh, and uh, this formatting is called free formatting. Uh, M plus uh, is also capable of something what is called fixed formatting. So it means it can uh, understand uh, to format, which will say, okay, in first maybe five uh, digits, uh, uh, there is information about uh, first variables. In this uh, next uh, two digits, there is information about another variables. So these blank spaces uh, could be omitted. But if you are using this fixed format, you need to specify a number of digits which is uh, devoted uh, to individual variables. It is much more complicated, uh, so I would recommend you, if you are planning to use M+, every time use this free format. This is much easier, and M+, automatically recognizes these blank spaces as blank spaces and will read only uh, values which are outside of these blank spaces. So that's about formatting of data. The next section uh, is variable. Uh, you can see that uh, sections as well as variables uh, can be by big or small address uh, and plus uh, uh, is not case sensitive. And the first phrase that must be applied is following. Names are uh, and then you need to specify variable names. For example, in this uh, uh, case, there are four variables, which is called inco, general, edu, and age. So it means it is expected that it will be income, general, education, and age. Uh, one rule uh, which is necessary to follow in M plus environment is that variable names shouldn't have more than eight uh, letters all numbers. So maximum eight numbers, all letters uh, are uh, designed for variable names. So if you use more than eight, uh, M plus will not take it as a mistake, but will make a shortage of this longer description. And if the first five letters or numbers would be the same for two or more variables, M plus will uh, uh, type mistake. Sorry, I am not able to distinguish between variables. My recommendation is very simple. Don't use more than eight uh, uh, letters or numbers uh, for description of variables. And uh, my second recommendation is use ideally letters, maybe in combination with some numbers and underline uh, and don't use a special uh, uh, letters, uh, for example, from Czech or German alphabet uh, as uh, M plus wouldn't be able to recognize these uh, special symbols. So only uh, letters from English alphabet, uh, underline and numbers should be combined into variable names. Once again, M plus is not case sensitive. So whether you type INCO with small or big letters, uh, it is still the same variable. The next uh, section uh, is describing that for my analysis, I will be using only two of these previously defined four variables. So I am saying M plus use variables only income and education. So uh, you must for M plus say which variables will be omitted from my analysis, but at the beginning you need to define all variables that are present in your data file. So my second recommendation is every time you are using M plus, prepare M plus data file only with the set of variables you are planning to analyze. If you do not plan to use some variables, it is much easier for you uh, to exclude this variable from M plus data set. Here is a definition of missing values. Uh, so the key phrase is missing R. And uh, then if all variables have the same value, which is uh, serving as missing value, so you can uh, describe missing values are all, 
and then in brackets, you can define missing values. If different variables should have different missing values, then the list would be much longer. And for individual variables such as INCO, uh, there should be individual definitions of missing values. My recommendation is every time you are using M+, try uh, prepare your data file that have the same missing value for all variables and you can use only this simple phrase. Here, for example, minus one is treated as missing values and all cases with minus ones on individual variables will be omitted from my analysis. So that's a missing value definition in M+. And uh, the next section is uh, describing my model. And here, uh, this is regression description uh, in M plus language. So INCO on EDU means that I am preparing regression analysis of income, which is related on education. So on the left side, there is dependent variable and the right hand side, there is independent variable. And the phrase on uh, is shortage uh, from English uh, as original language uh, English uh, expression would be income is related on or income is regressed on. So that's why INCO on edu means try to compute regression of income on education. And here in the section for output, uh, I'm asking for some specialized outputs. SAMPSTAT means that I would like to compute sample statistics. So it means description of my data. Standardized means that I would like to have also standardized results. And C interval means that I would like also to include results uh, uh, with confidence intervals. So these are quite classical outputs in M plus that are additional. So these are no defaults, sample statistics, standardized results and uh, confidence intervals. And uh, if you would uh, compute uh, results in M plus uh, and compare it to JESP, I guess that these results would be the same. So this is a simple regression case. Uh, I will postpone uh, the last slide about multiple regression to the next lecture. Uh, we will be once again using M plus. And now uh, I will close uh, uh, this dialogue and we will briefly comment our simple regression for prices and uh, flat sizes. And we will compute results and we will uh, briefly discuss about our results. So, I will open uh, my input file directly in M plus. So uh, you need only to save uh, uh, the file simple rec en enp uh, somewhere uh, into your computer and then go into this M plus editor, uh, click file, open and uh, uh, try to find uh, uh, for uh, your uh, uh, file, uh, this extension EINP uh, is saved. So in my, uh, it is uh, this E, uh, this folder, uh, and uh, this is uh, how it works. So uh, I will open this file uh, in some <coughs> uh, data viewer uh, as it would be uh, much better to see uh, uh, bigger. Uh, so here uh, it is in bigger letters as uh, M plus editor cannot be uh, uh, changed uh, uh, in its sizes uh, of uh, individual letters. So uh, here it is and uh, here it how it works in our case. So first one is title, uh, excuse me for check uh, in the title. So here you can type the title of your uh, analysis. Uh, so I can type instead of check uh, uh, linear regression uh, for uh, prices uh, of flats. Okay. Uh, so uh, here you can see commands. So if you like uh, to type commands, uh, 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 you can start uh, uh, and uh, discuss uh, about your commands and M plus will not read uh, these parts. Uh, uh, so these commands are excluded uh, uh, from uh, description. 
So next one section is called data uh, and uh, my data file is called uh, dvanlinregdata.dat. Uh, uh, so that's why I'm typing file s and then the name of the file. As my data file is in the same folder as my input file, I do not need specify the folder and disk uh, where my data file is uh, saved. So that's about data file. Section variable uh, is starting and in my uh, data uh, there are following variables. That's why I'm typing names are and then I am assigning individual uh, names for variables. So price, size, train, new, balcony, reconstructed, uh, city size, uh, city size two, city size three, city size four. Uh, we will be uh, uh, discussing uh, these variables uh, today later. So these are once again command that these are variable names. For the first analysis, I will be using only price and size. That's why I'm typing use variables are price size. So I'm declaring, excuse me for this typo, uh, declaring uh, variables for my data analysis. If I would like somehow uh, to exclude some cases from my data analysis, I can type use observations are and then type uh, filter. So if you remember uh, last time discussion about one special uh, big flat, uh, which was omitted uh, from our analysis. So I am here typing that use observations are and sizes would be below 200 meters. So big flat, which was, uh, if I remember well, more than 400 square meters will be omitted from my data analysis. If I wouldn't, specify this condition, this big flat would be included in my data analysis. We do not have any missing data, if I remember well in my data, but only to be sure uh, I have added this phrase uh, that missing are all, and usually uh, I am using uh, three times nine uh, for missing values in M plus, so, so that's why the phrase is missing are all, uh, and in brackets, nine, nine, nine. So this is exclusion of missing values. Then, uh, and it is quite unpleasant, uh, uh, feature of M plus, uh, and I guess uh, it is still available in this uh, last version 8.5. Uh, uh, so M plus uh, is not uh, possible to handle variables with big variants. Uh, the limit is uh, 100,000 uh, uh, variants, and uh, our dependent variable price uh, is exceeding this limit. So that's why in this define section, I am changing the scale of the price variable. I am dividing every price in crowns by 1000. So it means that my dependent variable would be instead of in crowns, in thousands of crowns. Uh, it is quite uh, appropriate uh, for data analysis if we are discussing about prices of lead. Uh, so I guess uh, that if we discuss about thousands instead of uh, individual units, uh, uh, it uh, can be applied. Uh, so this uh, recomputation doesn't make any uh, complication for my data analysis. So uh, the reason is uh, technical reason in M plus. And the most important uh, phrase is that I am defining my model. So I would be computing regression of prices on sizes, that's why I'm typing model price on size. Once again, key phrase on means it is regressed on, dependent on. And uh, I am adding also some specialized results which are called standardized uh, as uh, the sample of some specialized output in M+. So this is uh, the preparation of input file. And uh, now uh, we can show how it works directly in M plus environment. So uh, I will uh, <coughs> uh, close it. Uh, and uh, if you open uh, this input file directly, uh, 
in M plus. So you can see that M plus is using some colors. Blue colors are uh, designed for uh, individual sections. So you can find the title, data, variable, define, model, and output are every time in blue. Uh, if it wouldn't be in blue, it means uh, that we made some mistake in typing. You can see that also commands are in green color. Uh, so uh, this is uh, quite nice uh, feature of M plus uh, that it can differentiate uh, individual parts of uh, input file by colors. Uh, if you like uh, to run your procedure, uh, you can click here directly into this icon, uh, run. There is also uh, keyboard shortage. It is control plus R. And I guess uh, that we can also find uh, here an M plus uh, uh, option, uh, uh, this option, which is called run M plus. And here is alt plus R uh, keyboard shortage written here. So you can decide to uh, choose this menu, run M plus, uh, this icon, or control plus R. Uh, if everything is OK, uh, so uh, I hope uh, that it would be okay for this case. Uh, so uh, this uh, uh, black window will open for a minute. Uh, and then uh, for simple models, uh, immediately uh, M plus will open new one window, which is output window. You can see that this window has the same name as input file only with the extension out. Uh, so now uh, this output file should be also in your folder. There is also one more file, DGM, as I discussed, uh, some graphical output we won't be using. And here, it, uh, here we can go uh, for a, uh, quickly uh, through output file. So uh, once again, instead of uh, this uh, uh, text editor uh, in M+, uh, which cannot be uh, somehow uh, increased by the size of individual letters, uh, I would use uh, uh, some uh, <coughs> built-in editor uh, here uh, in my uh, data manager. Uh, so I will open it uh, directly uh, from this uh, window. And here we can see uh, output, first output in M+. First one is repetition of input section. So M plus every time uh, uh, when it is preparing your output file is saying what was your input. So this is the first uh, part of the output. Then uh, there is uh, uh, some, uh, uh, I would call it a preliminary warning or preliminary message, which is saying here, input reading terminated normally. So this is quite nice information that it seems that we didn't make any error in our output. If this message wouldn't be included here, uh, there would be some message report uh, and uh, 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 this report you will find some mistakes uh, and you need uh, to change uh, your input and then once again run uh, M plus. So uh, here is uh, the title, which was required by this title section. So if you add title, the title would be repeated here before uh, the output file. Here is some preliminary summary of analysis. So here M plus is saying, we have only one group. It means we didn't specify any groups in my data analysis. Uh, uh, we wouldn't be discussing about groups uh, during this course, uh, but this is uh, some uh, advanced option for data analysis uh, to analyze individual groups and compare results between groups. Next one, information is saying that number of observations that are uh, included in my data analysis is 262. Uh, if you compare it uh, to original data file in CHESP, uh, so it seems correct as there were 263 flats and one is excluded uh, as we excluded uh, uh, the big flat. Uh, uh, so uh, seems correct. Uh, then uh, the next information from M plus is that we are using here one dependent variable. It means uh, prices of flats and one independent variable, it means sizes of floods. So uh, it seems uh, correct. Uh, 
And here, uh, there is only brief repetition that our dependent variable is price and that our de dependent variable is size. Then the next section is quite technical. I will mention only the first option. Uh, uh, and plus by default uh, is using for estimation so-called maximum likelihood technique. We will be discussing about this technique uh, during structural equation modeling lectures. Uh, but here I would like only mention uh, that maximum likelihood uh, is different estimation technique from ordinary least worst uh, uh, we discussed last time. Uh, but uh, if uh, we are using uh, classical regression, maximum likelihood estimates and ordinary uh, least uh, estimates uh, are uh, offering the same results. Uh, so we should see the same results as uh, for Jasper using uh, ordinary least curves. Uh, uh, next uh, description is a uh, description of uh, some descriptive statistics. So here you can see description of price and size. You can see mean, variance, skewness, kurtosis, minimum, maximum, and percentiles uh, uh, 20, uh, 40, uh, 60, 80, and 50. It means median. So this is basic description of my data. And it is always a uh, quite good strategy uh, if you open new data file in M plus uh, to compare number of units, it means uh, 262, and these descriptive statistics, this original data file in different software uh, to recognize uh, that uh, uh, inclusion of data into M plus is correct. Uh, the next uh, message, also quite uh, nice to read, uh, uh, this message is the model estimation terminated normally. Uh, it means that some uh, cases uh, there can be some problem with the estimation and M plus will warn you. Here it seems uh, that we can read results. Now uh, there is a section uh, that we will skip completely and it is a section which is called model fit information. We will be discussing this section during structural equation modeling lectures, uh, so I will skip uh, uh, this section uh, as a whole. And now uh, this is the most important section for us, uh, which is called model results. And uh, this is classical uh, regression output. So here we have regression uh, slope, so it means uh, what is the average uh, price of one square meter once again in thousands of crowns as if you remember well uh, we were uh, defining that prices won't be original prices but prices would be divided by 1000 so prices are currently in thousand check crowns so uh, we can uh, go to this value and you can compare this value uh, to the value we have computed last time um, during JASP session. And it says that one square meter uh, costs approximately 14,300 crowns. So it should be the same result as for JASP. Here we have classical uh, result for testing. So estimate divided by standard error gives approximately 15 and 15 is statistically significant result. So not only in my sample, it seems that prices are somehow related on sizes, but also for the whole population, it means for the whole region from which we have sample uh, of my data. So, uh, that's a uh, model uh, results estimate, uh, especially slope. And we can see also here the intercept. Uh, once again, uh, we need to uh, repeat the information that original data doesn't include uh, zero that has some substantive meaning. Zero square meters, no flat is uh, big as zero square meters. So interpretation of intercept in original scale uh, is uh, no longer acceptable. 
we know uh, from previous discussion in JASP uh, that uh, it is possible uh, to somehow change uh, the scale of the sizes, uh, the centered uh, variable of sizes lifetime, and that's why uh, it was uh, possible uh, to interpret intercept. Uh, in M plus, uh, there is also option uh, to center variables. So this is very uh, easy option, uh, but uh, uh, we wouldn't discuss uh, this centering today. Uh, but currently, this intercept uh, cannot be interpreted as a variable size is not centered currently. And uh, last uh, part of the result uh, offer uh, many versions of so-called standardized results. Uh, we will be discussing about standardized results uh, in the uh, uh, next lecture, uh, but uh, as far as you remember from JESP output, uh, uh, so we were computed, uh, uh, we computed uh, 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 so-called standardized or beta coefficient at 0 0.685, if it is simple regression, means this is correlation coefficient uh, for price and size. So this is the same result as we were discussing last time. And uh, last uh, command is uh, that M plus offer uh, different versions of standardizations. Uh, uh, M plus call it uh, STDYX, STDY, uh, and also uh, STD standardization. Classical standardization we are using in regression is this standardization, which is based on standardization dependent as well as independent variable. That's why Y and X is included here. So every time we will be using standardization in M plus, we will be using this STD by X standardization and we would skip all the rest. Last one result, uh, which is once again comparable to JASP or classical regression result is computation of R square. Once again, the meaning of R square is usually interpreted uh, in flowing way. You take the value 0 0.47, multiply by 100, and explain in percentages. So here in this case, prices are explained by sizes of flats by nearly one half. So that's quite good result. So, uh, that's it. Uh, and last time is information only about the company, etc., etc. So we can skip it. So I, I will close uh, this uh, uh, simple example uh, of uh, the first uh, introduction into M plus uh, case. Uh, I will uh, stop sharing. I will also stop recording.